Oh, hey everyone. I'm Debbie Gerbeck and I help people 50 plus find their next inspiration. So let me ask you this. What is your thing? Do you have a thing? Do you know what a thing is? <laughs> a thing is something that drives you, something that makes your heart pound. Um, and that's what we're going to talk about today um, is finding your thing, finding thing one and maybe thing two. So, uh, but before we get to that, please, while well, you're on my website, go back to the homepage after the video and fill out the form and I'll send you a free download, my pamphlet, How I Found My Inspiration and How You Can Find Yours in Three Steps. So, a thing. So, first of all, I want to give a huge shout out to my husband. I'm so proud of him. Um, when I when I uh, figured out that this was going to be this week's topic, it was inspired by him because he was back down in the basement where he spends most of his free time writing his music, producing his music, singing, playing every single instrument. And there he was back doing it now. However, he is sick as a dog. He's the worst cold ever. He hasn't slept. He feels like crap, but that is his thing. And that is what makes him happy. Um, so that is my shout out to him. Some of us aren't so lucky to have a thing. I mean, if you'd asked me a few years ago what my thing was, I would have said, I don't know, my job, going to the gym. I really had nothing. Um, I was okay with that until I wasn't. And I started to get depressed and just... I just, I really just couldn't do anything. And I decided that I had many, 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 many years ahead of me and I didn't want to live that way. So cut to now, I became a coach and you can see my story called The Other Side on Inspiration Station. So, um, yeah, so like I was saying, not all of us are lucky enough to have been born knowing what we wanted to do. Um, then there are people who are quite happy with what they have, which isn't much. I mean, you know, family is everything and they're content with their job, but it's okay. And they're okay with that. That's fine. If you're okay with what you have and you don't have a thing and you're not depressed about not having a thing, that's okay. That's fine. We're not here to judge in any way at all. Um, it's not okay when it's not okay. And that's what we're gonna talk about, taking steps to find your thing when you want to find a thing. So here we go, I have six tips that could help you do this. Um, first of all, all right, before that, um, yeah, throughout all of these tips, just be open. Just, that's the umbrella words of the day. Be open, be open to suggestions, be open to uh, learning new things, be open to finding new things that could interest you. Um, you can't change if you are closed off to anything. So keep in mind, just, just be open. So number one, first of all, when you're depressed, um, I know when I'm depressed, I'm so lethargic, I don't even want to do anything. Any anything is so laborious, um, and it's just it's. Just, I just feel blah, just dead. I'm like I don't want to do anything. Um, so my tip number one is get those endorphins going. It doesn't have to be major. You don't have to run a three minute mile. You know, just something as simple as walking around the block. You know, just moving. Walk up and down the steps. Do twenty five jumping jacks. Uh, I don't know, any of the above, but just something to get your energy going because you, having energy is positivity. And with positivity, you will help. It will help to find your thing. So that's number one. Number two is think about a time when you've said to yourself, oh God, I've always wanted to, you may not even remember saying that or think, think twice about it. Like, I can't do that. But I've always wanted to fill in the blank. Um, so just if you 
remember that you thought of that or you thought of something new now, just do it. There's my cat, Noxie. <laughs> um, so she's the tightrope walker that I mentioned in a few videos ago. Anyway, um, so if you found your thing, just do it. Just do it. Don't think twice about it. Just do it. So that leads me to number three, which is, okay, you have found, you have found your thing that you were interested in and it's guitar. So let's say you've taken a few lessons, you're watching YouTube videos, however you're learning the guitar, and you are so frustrated. I can't stand it. I can't do it. I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> First of all, don't give up. I know this is so cliche. You know, practice makes perfect. I sound like, you know, a parent. But you know what? It's true. It's true. The more you do something, the more you get used to it. So you you can't you can't have a judgment that you don't like it if you are not adept at it. So, you know, practice those eight bars over and over and over and over and over again until you perfect it. You can't you can't decide whether you don't like it or not. So keep at it. Just keep at it. Um all right, and about that, another thing to remember while you're practicing, think about what was the original thought? What were the thoughts around wanting to learn the guitar? You know, that will help you just to remember why you're doing what you're doing. Um, number four, number four. So, like I said, be open. Um, when you're talking to people, just anybody, could be the mailman or the woman at the grocery store or a friend or anybody whenever you're talking to anybody you generally are taking in information and learning so if you're listening and you're open you know they might say something like oh my god I'm taking this great class you know and they're all excited about it well maybe you can too you can learn something new and that could be a something so if you're just open to new experiences, you could learn something about yourself and you could be well on your way to finding a new thing. You never know. Um, so, right, number five, number five, important. In fact, one should do this every day. What are your good qualities? What do you like about yourself? And how do you express yourself? How do you express how do you express these qualities? Um, so one of mine is empathy. And the way I express empathy is listening to people and helping to inspire them. That makes me feel good. It makes them feel good. It's good all around. So that's my quality. You have other qualities. So think about that in all your openness and positivity. And lastly, lastly, and this should have been number one, what makes your heart pound? It could be anything. What makes your heart pound? What gives you a little stomach flutter? What is your heart telling you? Pay attention to what it's telling you because it's important. It's important. It's, you're gonna learn something from yourself. And so that is it for today's video. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week. Have a great week. Thank you.